Hello there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're going to be reviewing everything you need to know about Unit 1, Topic 6 of AP Human Geography. Now when talking about scales of analysis, we are looking at how information is being organized. Each scale provides us different insight into what we are looking at. Remember when we're talking about scale, we're talking about the distance on a map in relationship to the Earth's surface. There's a global scale which shows the entire Earth's surface, a state scale or national scale which focuses around a country's border, a subnational or sub-state scale which looks at organizations that are below the national level. For example, the United States of America, we could look at one of the 50 states of the United States. Or we could look at a specific region of the United States. We can also break scale down even further and look at the county level, an individual city or settlement, or perhaps we could look at one of the smallest classifications, a census tract. One quick point of clarification, I mentioned the term state. This references an area with set political boundaries that is controlled by an organized government. So a State can mean country, which I realize can be confusing, especially if you live in the United States, since the United States is comprised of 50 different states that are part of the actual country that is the United States. We'll, we'll go more into all states and nations and boundaries in Unit 4. For now, just realize when you hear the term state, especially if the conversation is on the global scale, it can mean country. So scale is talking about the Earth's surface, but scales of analysis is focusing on how the information we are looking at and observing is being organized. Just like scale, with scale of analysis, we're going to be looking at the global, regional, national and local scale. But remember, with scale of analysis, we're focusing on how the data is chunked and how it's being presented to us. For example, here you can see a map where our scale is global. We're looking at the entire world. However, notice the scale of analysis is actually national. This is because the data that is being presented is specific to each state. Notice how the country's boundaries are relevant to the data. Everything is being organized by the state. So the scale of the map is global, but the scale of analysis is national. This next map is again a global scale map. But notice how the country's boundaries are not being utilized. The data is not connected to any state's borders. Since the data is showing global patterns that have nothing to do with any one country, this map is a global scale of analysis and also a global scale map. Before we go on to the next scale of analysis, I just want to highlight that a lot of students get confused with the national scale of analysis and the global scale of analysis. Always remember to check to see if the boundaries of the countries are playing a role in the presentation of the data. If they are, are, it's probably the national scale of analysis. All right, for this next map, we can see that we have a national scale map. We're looking at the entire country. However, the scale of analysis is a local scale of analysis or county scale. The data is being presented is grouped by different counties. It's not based on the country as a whole, which makes the scale of analysis a local scale of analysis, while the map scale is national. Or for this last map, we could look at the United States, which again is a national scale map. But this time we can see that we are looking at the Federal Reserve District which would make this a regional scale of analysis. Since the information is organized into the different districts or regions of the United States. What you are doing right now is practicing your scale of inquiry. You're analyzing data and maps to determine the scale of analysis and scale. Now when looking at different scales and scales of analysis, remember when we change our scale or scale of analysis, we're going to see different patterns and processes. A local scale of analysis does a great job at showing us specific information with lots of detail. However, the national and global scale of analysis allow us to see patterns across a variety of different geographic locations. Here, let me give you an example. Let's say you are looking to build a new hospital that specializes in working with patients with cancer. And in order to figure out where to build the hospital, you look at a map of the world that shows the share of the population with cancer. Here we can see we have a global scale and a national scale of analysis. You want to build a new hospital in a place that has higher rates of cancer answer so that you can treat the most people. But there is a problem. While this map is accurate and does tell you which countries have higher rates of cancer, it is still a small scale map and does not give you many specific details. Remember, a small scale map shows more of the Earth's surface but has more generality since the map is zoomed out. On the other hand, a large scale map shows less of the Earth's surface but uses less generalities and more details since it's zoomed in. So in order to get a better idea of where you want to build a new hospital, 
hospital, you decide to find another map. This one is now only looking at the United States. Here the map has a national scale, and our scale of analysis is sub-national, since the data is organized by the state. Now you're starting to get a better idea of what state needs the most help and could benefit from your new hospital. You notice that states like Kentucky, Mississippi, Pennsylvania, and New York all have some of the highest rates. So you decide to pick one of the states that's close to home, and you go with Kentucky. But now the question is, where in Kentucky should you build the new hospital? To answer this, you decide to get one more map out. This time you're looking at a map that's showing the different counties in the state of Kentucky. Now you can see exactly which parts of the state have higher rates of cancer and which have lower. This allows you to determine where you should build your new hospital. At the end of the day, you decide to build the new hospital near Floyd County, since it has some of the highest rates of cancer. Notice that as we change our scale of analysis from a global scale of analysis to a local scale of analysis, we gain more details in our information, which helped us make a more informed decision. Now it isn't just maps that use scale and scale of analysis, we can also look at data. For example, here we can see a table showing the median household income by state. The data here is organized by the different states of the United States of America. Now let's say we want to change our scale and zoom in. We could look at data that is organized around the county level. For example, if we take my home state of Minnesota, we can see that the median household income between 2015 and 2019 for the different counties of the state. And just like that, another topic review video is done. Now remember, if you need more help with AP Human Geography, check out my Ultimate Review Packet or Discord server. In the Ultimate Review Packet, you'll find review videos, study guides, practice tests, FRQ help, and much more. It's a great resource that'll help you get an A in your class and a five on that national exam. As always, I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time online.